everyone, it's Kelly, how are you? Welcome so much to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. If we haven't met before, I'm Kelly. I'm the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. And I wanna welcome you and say a big thank you for joining with us today as we journey through shelf timber. <sighs> Is it over yet? <laughs> Just... <laughs> I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. Um, I've completely lost the plot and I've just been trying to edit this video for the past hour. So in all honesty, this is Sunday the 13th, 14th of September and I'm just putting together the how our week was. I realised I actually didn't really film a very good intro so I'm doing it now. And um, there's just video of just like everything like because I was filming a week in my life because I've had the most craziest week and I was like you know what I'm just gonna, every time I do something I'm gonna pick up the camera and I'm gonna film it for you because even I can't believe half of the stuff that we did last week so I've <laughs> chopped and changed through quite a few videos I'm going to voice over a few parts of it to sort of explain things and try and make sense to you so this video might be a little bit longer but there were just so many little bits and pieces I want to put in for you guys which will make sense and then when you watch the week that was uh, it'll all kind of connect and join together so enjoy the crazy shelf timber week that there was i'll see you at the end today's video will be another september check-in and i'm just taking you along with me because i'm cooking and i thought welcome to the really real show <laughs> this is what happens in life so i'm cooking currently lasagna because i have zumba tonight and then I have Zumba tomorrow night, but I have a governing council meeting and I leave home at like 4.30 to do that and then Zumba at the back. So I'm not gonna be home at all for dinner, so at least lasagna means leftovers and they can eat that. Um, I've used up today a second jar of this. Just finished our corn. I've just finished the margarine. Um, and I'm just about also, Oh, I've just finished the milk as well. I'll need to get a UHT. And I'm currently um, fishing out peas from the frozen veg because we have chopped up veggies in our lasagna. We normally need to have corn and carrot. Um, but Kira's not able to help me with dinner tonight. She normally cuts up the carrot. And I'm in a hurry, so yes. And she doesn't like peas. Jeremy doesn't really either. So I thought I'd be kind and take them out. And I'm just saving them because I eat them. So I'll have them for another meal one night. And if they find a pea in their dinner, woo, lucky them. Winner, winner, pea dinner. Oh. Um, just about ready to this is the second cup oh my god the things we do as parents I tell you doing this I've got Scott's dinner cooking um, and then I'm about to make or start a little dessert because I've got the governing council and I like to take a nice little treat because that's now what I'm known for. And I'm gonna make a little cheesecake. So I wanna get the base of that done and then I can put the jelly in tomorrow. That's, oh, that's enough now. Um, then I can do the jelly when I get home from Zumba and it can set overnight. Because Tuesday, I only have like about an hour by the time I drop off my son and get home and then have to go and do my afternoon appointments and teach Zumba so he gets full on after a while. I think we'll have more corn. Mm. 
accurately measured. Um, so we're having lasagna and my son is having the little chicken pom things or tater tots if you're in America. We call them potato royales, potato gems. Depends who makes them as to who names them. Um, and she'll probably have some chicken nuggets as well. And yeah, today I've just been filming and editing. Oh, there you go, time for chicken nuggets. Um, so I'll finish all this and I'll check in with you in a minute. So I did start recording this Monday morning just using the peaches left over from the fridge that I had. And so, yep, breakfast, what can I say? Um, and then after that I made a jelly because I figured we had lots of packets in the cupboard and why not use it and plus I was about to make a dessert and it has gelatin in it and Kira doesn't like that so I thought if I make her a jelly then she has something on the side. Uh, then I found this a cupcake a packet in the cupboard and I thought I would make those so that uses that up as well. But I did also need to film it for another video challenge that I've got coming up, so keep an eye out for that. And then, of course, I had to just have a sneaky cupcake before Zumba, so, you know, let's just put that on film, doing my whole Nigella thing. Got home from Zumba and, of course, realised that I hadn't even started the dessert for Governing Council, so that was exciting. But at least, again, it used all the ingredients I already had in the house. I didn't have to buy anything extra, so just quickly whipped that up and kind of got partway through and realised that it has not worked out at all how I expected it to. Um, you'll see that in the weekly vlog. So it's worked, but... I'm not happy with how it looks and I am a bit of a perfectionist <laughs> so I'm just going to leave this for the family to attack and so then I had to go ahead and make another dessert luckily I had everything already here just left my husband some instructions on how to cook my son's dinner and a note to say that anything they find now in the fridge is free game desserts included so yes all right go to grab coffee and let's go Hello, home from the food shopping and um, my husband and children have decided we're having takeaway for dinner so they go shop, shelf timber. <laughs> we haven't had takeaway for like nearly two months, we rarely do it. Um, but they were like, I'll give you a night off. I was like, okay. Um, it's just KFC so it's like 20 bucks for like a burger box, chips etc etc um, because yeah my chicken that I was planning on doing is still defrosting so I didn't quite organize that in time but that is my life so going to have dinner I'm gonna finally have a shower after running around all day and then sit down at my computer and chill and then tomorrow we start all over again so I'll check in with you then Hey, it's uh, Friday night. Welcome to What's for Dinner. And so tonight we have a few things. So I found some chicken in the freezer that I actually took out to sort of broth. It's ready for tonight. So half of that I'm going to put this in for Jeremy. And the other half I'm going to take for me and Kira. We're going to use our noodles. We're going to make a quiche because we've got some leftover eggs. And so yeah, I'm just cooking, cooking chicken and I've also got some rice on for Jeremy and Scott. I probably cooked too much rice, uh, so I'll do like a fried rice if there's anything left over for tomorrow night's dinner. And yeah, so just using up all the bits and pieces. So I've got leftover sour cream and the eggs that are there, milk and some corn that I'll add in as well. So. That's dinner for tonight.
Hello, it's Friday night, shelf timber. Welcome to what's for dinner. So I've got some leftover rice from last night that I cooked too much on purpose. So I can make some fried rice and we're having some steamed dim sims as well. Super quick a side note, I normally would give everyone two dim sims with a side, um, but I wanted to save the quiche uh, for Kira and myself for the next night because I was getting my fives a jab and I kind of thought if I don't feel very well um, at least I'll have something to reheat and then um, we've still got the other dim sims that are easy to steam and with the potato gems so I was kind of like I'll just pull back on food for that night and then I've got a backup plan in case anything happens. Um, also, we just got an ice cream from the food shopping and there were um, some other bits and pieces for dessert and stuff. So I figured they could fill up on that rather than a main meal. So yeah, not that I owe anybody an explanation, but I just wanted to say I do feed my family. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just kept it really basic because I needed to have that backup plan. Hey everyone, how are you? It's a Saturday night. What's for dinner? I'm cooking the four spare uh, chicken dim sims and two for Jeremy, two for Scott, as well as some potato gems. Kira and I will have potato gems as well as leftover chicken quiche. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Nothing really exciting is happening here. I'm kind of in sleepy mode today, be a busy day. there you go completely insane there's just so much I just film and just do things and then forget to go oh I'm doing this because of whatever and I like to chat a lot and explain everything because I'm a trainer it's what we do so I just figured it's easier to film and do and then try and explain later and because I spend so long trying to explain stuff it gets cut down that I just end up going I'm doing this because of this and, <laughs> and so if you have any questions, leave them below because, like, yeah, you get a bit like, have I said that? I don't want to bore them. If I'm repeating myself, da 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 da, it's all over the joint. So, yes, I have used quite a lot of stuff in this house actually, and that was uh, confusing. I was watching uh, Jordan Page, who was on Instagram. And she was talking, saying, you know, shelf timber is where we use things in our house because they sit around forever because we have so much food wastage. And I was like, I don't have any. Okay, so I am just on the other side of the box of shelf timber and trying to clearly create something that just, you know, doesn't exist because I keep bare minimum of quite a lot of stuff in this house anyway. So... That's why I'm kind of like, I think I've lost the plot and I have no idea where I'm going or <laughs> so I just put this content here to entertain you people and you can have a laugh at how just, <sighs> yep, <laughs> welcome to my life. <laughs> I enjoy sharing things with you guys though too and so I'm just kind of like, nah, it is what it is. So thank you so much for joining with me today. And I hope I've made you laugh wherever you are. Hope you're staying safe and sane. Yes, it's crazy times, crazy times. Please give this video a, a thumbs up. As I said, leave me a comment below. And I look forward, as always, to seeing you next time. Bye.